Hi guys, this is me Renee and today we are back with my first restaurant build. So this restaurant is more of a stand. It does have a little dining room area that only has like two tables for bigger parties. Um, there is a big, one big table outside for like eight. So, um, and I did make it on a bigger lot guys. So it could uh, also uh, expand this stuff like to make you know, a bigger kitchen to make a bigger dining room to make it more of a restaurant instead of like a stand. So this is technically a vegan restaurant. I thought it was amazing when they added the vegetarian stuff. I was so hoping that they would do something like that because that was one of the things that I really wanted and I'm really glad. I know that it's vegetarian, but we're going to just say it's vegan because just of because we can always pretend guys, right? So right now I am trying to figure out, but um, the bathroom didn't work. So I had to switch sides. It just was not big enough. It, I couldn't get it even. And you know me, I have to have everything even. So it was really annoying. So I just switched and was like, you know what? We'll do it on this side and we'll do put a small dining room area. So the colors of course are very plain. Like I brown some orange I did use the new brick on the um the uh outside um I do like the brick that we got it's so cute and actually the concrete on the floor or tile I forgot what it's called it is the new one that we did receive um it does look pretty so yes there's me doing the the restrooms and um the only thing that I wish that we had was stalls you know what I'm talking about like if you built a restaurant I think it was in the sims 2 I believe that you had the stalls like you could add stalls to it like to your it was so amazing so I mean I'm just gonna throw that in there but I cannot wait to get into actually building this thing this thing did cost a lot more than I thought it would I wanted it to be small, but then I was like, you know what? We're just going to, I felt a little inspired to do more. Um, there is of course some stuff that I will probably fix when I do play. Um, this is going to actually be the restaurant I play for the mini LP, which will probably be starting tomorrow guys, to be honest with you, or maybe an episode today. I'm not sure when it will be starting, but sometime soon, sometime this week, I know that begin I, um, but by the end of this week so I am trying to figure out this patio and it didn't work because it was three different um the 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 rooms were three different uh oh oh my gosh sizes and some were pushback you know you could see it right now I can't think today but yes like I said it was fun this game pack is my favorite by far um, I can't wait to see what the other one has to offer. Um, but yes, yeah, so excited. There's me putting the patio. I hate fence like that. So, and then I do pause a lot during the um, making, like during making this because I had my dogs and then I watch TV a lot when I'm filming. I just look over and watch TV. And, you know, it was, I have to say, it's a lot of fun. It's more difficult than I thought because I'm not a very good builder. So I was like, I need to do something that's easy because I'm trying to learn to be better. And this one turned out okay. Um, there is some stuff that, like I said, I will fix probably. Um, but it's not bad for my first one. I don't build a lot because I just am not good at it. I'm going to be honest. I hate landscaping. All my houses look the same because I don't like the funky colors and anything like that. I just like brown, white, off whites, maybe a light yellow, you know, things like that. So I did, you know, customize the menu and it's most, it is all the vegetarian stuff. Um, and they are wearing stuff that you would wear like in a diner set. I do change that right now. It's not changed. Um, so here's me putting, finding colors. I didn't like that color and I was going to try to do like a blue, but I'm like, no, I can't do that. So I ended up settling with the orange. So I did put two different bricks, two different, uh, paints. Uh, we got the new brick on both sides and a different color on the front where the kitchen is, I guess. So I'm actually really excited to play with this restaurant. Hopefully everything works. There's me trying to figure out what siding I was going to use. And then I ended up using that siding. I wanted to um, 
trying to figure out colors. I did settle with this that blue color, but I wasn't sure if I liked it. So that might be one thing I do change. I'm not sure. I mean, I was trying to be different. I do like the blue. I think the blue is pretty, but you know, I don't know. So there is probably no trees because I don't have any idea with trees. So anyway, um, let's see what else I was going to say. So the sign. So I had a lot of fun trying to figure it out. And then I'm like, no, I don't want that sign. And I'm like, yeah, I want this sign. So there's me putting the tables and I used all the new tables. I was going to try to do uh, the, um, the umbrella thing, but I realized that it didn't fit. So there is a big back backyard back behind the restaurant. So you could definitely do that behind the restaurant or, you know, use those a few of those and then go in the back and do the other tables. But I decided there's me putting the hostess stand. Um, I do move it around a lot. I don't change. I couldn't figure out where to put the wait, um, the wait staff, um, area because I was like, Oh, clue close to the bathroom. That's kind of gross. Right. So there's me trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Um, but yes, it was fun. So there is a lot of tables. There's probably eight or nine tables. I'm just guessing top of my head. And then at the end, I was like, oh crap, I forgot to put a, a uh, door to get into the kitchen. Like, how are they going to cook? So I was like, duh. Um, there's a few things. I didn't decorate a whole lot, to be honest with you. With the new stuff, I did put some on the walls, a few up on the front. I I don't like, I like everything plain. My house is not even decorated. So um, that's, and then I couldn't figure out the tables, which I do like how they do hook together. It makes things a whole lot easier than I have to drag one at a time. Gosh, that would drive me crazy. So I could not figure out how to do it. And then um, I'm doing the, trying to figure out the, di the dining room area. Um, I do put a lot, a lot of windows in there. I do want them to be able to look outside to see things. Um, so yes, so I am figuring out the windows right now. So I do, there's a lot of windows and it's a small dining area just for like parties and things like that. Like you could throw somebody can come and throw a little party in there and then you wouldn't have to worry about being outside. Um, I will probably expand it in my own LP when she does start earning money. Um, but this thing cost about 40,000 simoleons to build. And I only wanted to spend 20, but I, like I said, I was like, Ooh, I need to figure out. So I did alternate between the bar, like the, uh, taller tables and the shorter tables. So I did use a lot of bar stools, to be honest with you guys. Um, I really like those for some reason. So there's me adding that in. Um, I do love the dining room. Um, yeah, of course you can make it bigger. Like I said, um, there's plenty of room. I did that on purpose. So if you ever wanted to make an actual restaurant and bring the kitchen inside, you could totally do that and still leave the patio because you could still have the patio, right? So I'm just putting the tables in. I couldn't decide what to do. And then I changed the hostess to where it'd be right in the front. And, um, so yeah, a lot of tables. Um, but yeah, I do love the patio area. It's actually pretty decent, for my first time, I was like, I'm not sure if this looks good. And I was changing it all over. And I hate things when it's in wrong directions. I don't, they all have to be the same and all have to match up. I just don't like anything that's off. So you see me on the other side trying to match what that is. And I might've gotten off, but I try it, everything. There's me putting the sign. It's like forks and a little uh, signature. So I think that's pretty cool too. Because if you get bored of it, you can change it. So, I mean, I have to say this pack is brought a lot so um i do love the perk point system as well i can't wait to get into it to see what it really has to offer and things like that as well um there's me trying to figure out how to do the the tape the um the seating again but i don't like everything just in line either so i did move the wait staff away from the wait staff area away from the bathroom i thought that was a little weird so and the bathroom is like a brown like a brown because I like I said those are my favorite I like plain in houses I don't like crazy colors so there's me figuring out and then I realized right here that I got short tables and I meant to get the bar uh the bar the taller tables and put the bar stools and I was like why is this thing not working it's really driving me crazy and it took me forever to realize that I hit the wrong thing because I had used the lighter colors in the middle and I don't I didn't know why it wasn't working and there's me oh that's why it's not working. I'm about to 
scream. So there's me playing around with them, trying to get them to work. Um, but yes, there's quite a bit. And I do like that there's a lot. And then I put a big eight seater and there's me trying to figure out where to put this new heat lamp. Um, I think we settled right there by the, I think I settled right there by the, um, the, the kitchen area. And, um, yes, but later on I do put an eight seater. Um, I am, I didn't like it there cause I wanted to really use an eight seater. And then I decided with these window things and then I went back and I did the napkin and salt shaker stuff. I thought that was a little better touch. And then on the big tables, I put a little Lily and the, um, salt, pepper, and the napkin dispenser area thing because it looks more like restaurant to me. Um, so that's what I'm doing. And then I add the table and then I just put that somewhere. And I think I leave that there to, unless I don't, unless I decide not to do it. But I think I did decide to keep it, to kind of keep it warm. Um, lights were the only thing I couldn't figure out for the, um, the outside if nighttime. So I don't know if it would be a good idea to even have them even be out at the restaurant be open. So lights uh, definitely um, put more maybe. I did put some and it, do, it did light it up and made it kind of romantic I guess to be outside you know very dim and stuff. So definitely very cute date night if you know you live at dim. Me figuring out lights of course I use my favorite lights in here because their lights are huge and it just didn't like it didn't go right underneath the tables and I have to have that stuff especially in dining room and any area that it has to be right underneath so I do go and try to put lights but I couldn't figure out so I just threw those lights there kept them I was like you know what this might be and I do eventually go back and check the um what is it check the um what was I saying check if it's night and day you know things like that and then there's me putting the um some of the floor down making the kitchen the only thing I forgot is put music so I would definitely probably go back and do that if I was you if you want music um but yeah I didn't think about that and there's me I just threw a sink to make that qualification um the new sink and then there's me building the restroom like I said I used pretty nice toilets and then I am making different stalls so they can use Somebody, uh, more than one person can go in there. So if you got bit, if you're busy or something, there's me. I don't, I, some reason I pushed it all the way up and I'm like, oh no, they need sinks. So this is a restroom. So there's me trying to figure out what I did. And then I put uh, separate stalls. Um, but yes, to make it bigger. I'm not sure which one has the girl and the boy side, to be honest, but I know there's one that's a boy and one's a girl. And then I do add some doors to it. Just this doors like that um I wish they had like I said some stalls that's what I wish but um if they do I didn't look <laughs> or but yes I'm pretty sure they do not and then um I do add sinks the, the thing has two sinks in it so um and I did add a mirror and then I did go and add toilet the uh dispenser to kind of make it look like a real restroom and or yeah restroom and then I'm trying to fix it and then I just messed it up pretty bad and then I finally did it and then I put these cheap little mirrors in here um so where they can look at themselves and uh, that's it and the the color is an off brown I believe I put there's me trying to figure out where to put the toilet dispenser and they're all on the same side because I don't like them to be opposite and stuff and it took me forever to make sure they weren't too high like somebody couldn't reach it you know so then um hmm what else what else did I do to this restaurant I did not touch anything in the back because I felt like you should be able to go in there and if you wanted a bigger bathroom or you wanted to do a bigger kitchen and make it more indoors that that's why I picked a bigger uh, a bigger uh, empty lot to do that in so anybody can feel free to make it a little bigger um, I almost forgot to go back and paint all of this I was like oh I got to go back and paint this and then You'll see me realizing, oh, I forgot to add some doors. So I did add like arches so they can just walk in and out. No doors or anything. I should have added doors. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have added a door, but I did add arches. So I would definitely um, fix that. I'm going to fix that in the game um, when I do play in this. I forgot. I don't know why I hit arches because then anybody can walk through the kitchen. And you don't want everybody watching, walking through the kitchen, right? So yes, I forgot. See, there it goes. I did something that I forgot. So there's me trying to add counters. And then I felt like, no, that looks too much like a 
like a regular house kitchen. So then I used um, counters from like the science, the, the, what you get with for the science, I guess. And um, I was watching TV during this part, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. That's what I was doing. Watching some TV and then, uh, and thinking probably. Added a fridge. I wasn't sure if you were supposed to. It wasn't in the qualification, but I thought it needed a fridge. Um, so, you know, you could store your leftovers. And then I did use the new dishwasher, standing dishwasher. And then I added a few decorations to the, um, I was going to add a microwave. I'm like, no, nah, we don't need that. And then I did, uh, add de decorations to it. I, um, put some like peppers and I put some, um, what else? The hanging utensils and I'm just adding lights in here. And then, um, what else did I do? And then some reason I was stuck on lighting. I'm like, why is this not? So yeah, the peppers, the pots and pans, the seasonings, and there's me adding the dispensers. And then I do delete the menus off because there's just too much there. And they're me going to delete those off. Um, so except the big tables, the big table has two things on it, but I liked that a little bit better. I think, like I said before, it looked more like a restaurant rather than a, you know, just have a menu. I don't know. I just think that made it pots and pans. Um, let's see. I don't, I didn't do a lot of decorations. I did put some burgers on burger and like hot coffee on the, um, on the, um, glass over there on the glass dining room. And there's me adding arches. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did not think to use like the kitchen door. So, I mean, I don't know why. It's a little weird and there's me trying to figure out what to add but I forgot like I was going to add um, that and I'm like no I don't want too much nectar because this is not supposed to be this fancy restaurant. It's supposed to be like a stand. Go there eat outside and you leave so it's not but I did want to where if you had a party you should you be able to go and not be bothered by the outside or you could have the party outside. There's an eight table seat so um, definitely I do love the benches but the benches did not really match with the kind of outdoor thing. I could have put one out there, but I didn't think about that. And then there's me adding the menu. So I added very few, I added stuff. I added like apple juice, fruit juices. I did add some hot tea. I did um, not very much. I'm gonna be honest with you. I couldn't think of what I really wanted to add to it. So that's basically what I did. Um, just going through to look. And then, like, I went to the vegetarian option and did everything that was more vegan than um, anything else. What I thought, like, I did the veggie burger, the tofu dog, things like that. And then dessert. I did a lot of fruit. So, um, I'm not sure if they make this with anything that, you know, but that's what I really wanted to do is make sure it was very fruit and had a lot of fruit and stuff to it. So, I mean, we're just going to pretend that it was made, you know, uh vegan style. So yes, I'm really excited for them doing that. That actually is amazing for them to do that in my opinion. And then there's me choosing. Um, I will probably go in there and custom do it. I just didn't want to do it for this. I would go in there and make it custom and I want to use the pink and have the host wear something else. There's me. It's actually called the vegan stand. So, and then I do go back and show how it does look at night. I think that's the best part. Um, if you wanted more lights, you could totally add that yourself. Um, but yes, I think it's kind of romantic, kind of just highlights the middle and it makes it look really pretty. I'm showing it off right now. And some reason I couldn't control my mouse. I don't know if I need a new mouse or something. But guys, I hope you have a good one. Please subscribe if you like. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.